Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Salesforce. In this video, we are gonna talk about identity resolution in Salesforce Data Cloud. First of all, why do we need identity resolution? Let's see this example. Here you can see one person and this person's data is residing in four sources. Okay. So when I ingest data from these four sources in my data cloud, then I have the duplicacy of the data. To get rid of that duplicacy, we need identity resolution that will match upon the record, uh, upon the records and it will give me a unified profile or a unified record of this person from all of these sources. So as you can see below here, this person's data is matched as well as reconciled and it has given me a single record for this person that is having all of the related information which is present in all of these four sources okay so that is what basically uh, the working of the identity resolution rule sets so you can see one example here of the identity resolution rule set it is having the match rules as well as reconciliation rules so match rules is basically to match the uh, records and you can provide the uh, conditions or you can provide the criteria like match upon the fuzzy name or email address or something like that whatever exact match if you want or fuzzy match if you are going with along with multiple conditions with or and and criteria okay as well as let's say if you stuck in uh, in a place or in a situation like this let me uh, explain to you so you have the data the order history data as well as social data of this person now let's say based upon the match rules it has given me in the result both of these records but it still does not resolve my problem okay so basically let's say if we just talk about the email address both of these sources are having different email address for this person so which one i would want to use so there basically in that scenario the reconciliation rules comes into the picture so reconciliation rules basically tells you to pick the data based on what situation so there are three or three situation or three conditions present for reconciliation rules first is last updated data so let's say this one is updated three days back and this one is updated one day back so this one is the last updated so it is going to get the email address from this data source okay then second option is most frequent so most frequent now it's gonna check in <coughs> all of the data uh, sources and it's gonna see that which email address is used most of the times or most of the places then in that case it's going to use that email address now the last one is the based upon the source you can also define that i would like to get this email address always in all of the cases from the social data source so in that case it would always use the email address value from the social data source so as you can see here this is the one of the example of this uh, reconciliation rule it is basically working on the individual object and on the object level default rule is most frequent that means most frequently whatever things are coming that is going to be used and on the field level also you can define whether you want to use most frequent last updated or source sequence so that is basically how the identity resolution works in salesforce data cloud to unify the data about your individual persons so that's all we are gonna learn in this video thanks for watching